And now, an original TV Land presentation. From star studded Hollywood, California, it's Al's Fit Talk Show. Tonight, Al's guests include Malcolm in the Middle's Brian Cranston and the music of Leon Redbone. And now, here's Alf! Oh, here we are. All right. Oh, oh. Wow. You believe this crowd? Look at this crowd! Wow! I don't think you realize how much you're loved. You don't understand that. Well, it could be that or the open bar. Something like sure. that. These people, you guys but I think you are the clear definition of warm fuzzy, and fuzzy. Fuzzy, yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting used to this late night, late night talk show gig thing yeah. here happening, you know? Sure. And we've been on the air for a little while now. And uh, already this show has developed a huge buzz. But uh, don't worry, we fired the audio guy. <laughs> uh, I think he had a little buzz. I don't know what was going on with him. Man. You know, with this trend with talk shows, what's going on, a lot of these shows now are giving stuff away to the audience, as you know. Right. They're, they're, they're relying on gimmicks. Yeah. But... Uh, I, I want to keep up with that trend, and I want everybody in this audience to know that tonight, this whole crowd is getting something special. You're getting the flu, and you can thank that guy in the back row who's been coughing without covering his mouth. Hey, you know what? You gotta use a handkerchief, man. Oh, get him out of here. Get out of here. That's contagious. Oh. Disgusting. Harold. Yeah. yeah. I did a public service for you people. Man should be quarantined. He should be quarantined. I'd like to slap a sticker on his terrible. face. Yeah. Well, let's get back to the press here for this show because I'm very excited. We got some good reviews. The Hollywood Reporter, which is an industry newspaper, you know that. Mm -hmm. They said that I had Leno's wit, Letterman's teeth, and Conan O'Brien's hair. I had it first, pretty boy. At least my color is natural. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the Utah Times. You know what they said? It's the kind of family show you could sit back and enjoy with all your wives. Utah. I got that, I got that choir up there. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and TV Guide is TV Guide. They were brutally honest. They described the show as airing at 11 p.m. on TV land. <laughs> so they didn't want to commit. They're not, they're not that kind of a, a newspaper or magazine. They don't yeah. commit to anything. Yeah. Well, anyway, I am here on TV land, and one of the things that I wanted to find out is what, what kind of holes do they have in their programming. And I noticed that they really don't have an entertainment news department here on TV oh, land. They need one. They should have yeah. one. And that's why I'm starting one. Oh. Yeah. I am launching TV Land's first entertainment news broadcast with my protege. His name is Kevin Butler. And right now, and he's, he's in Alf's hit talk show's entertainment newsroom. Kevin, Kevin, can you hear me? I can hear you, Alf. Give me some news, man. Thank you, Alf. After tonight's breaking entertainment news, Paris Hilton is in the news today as scientists run extensive tests to discover why exactly she's still famous. <laughs> A judge has ruled that Larry King can no longer use the word live in the title for obvious reasons. <laughs> and finally, doctors have discovered medical records that prove the Olsen twins were switched at birth. Mary-Kate is actually Ashley, and Ash is actually Mary-Kate. 
Whoa. And still, no one can tell the difference. <laughs> I'm Kevin Butler, and I just read the news to you. All yeah. right. Thank you, Kevin Butler. Thanks, boss. Yeah. That's Kevin Butler. He doesn't just read the news. He doesn't just break the news. He mangles it. Yeah, he's a protege. I'm, I'm working with him. I'm yeah. going to make a big star out of him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Now listen, our first guest, he plays the dad on a show that I love called Malcolm in the Middle, and he seems more like one of the kids to me than the dad, but anyway, please welcome the very juvenile but very funny Brian Cranston. Yeah. Thank you very much. You are too. You are. You 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 are actually we're about the same hair color, I think. We've got I this think, thing going with hair today. Let's see. Let's see if we can draw it. Well, no, maybe <laughs> maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit if lower. I, if I start losing some, can I get a little clipping? Well, from I've got you a woman in the back that'll glue some right in. Don't there worry we about go. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, you had some sort of uh, movie career before you started in television, right? Some sort of movie career. We're yeah. still trying to figure out what kind of movie <laughs> career that was. But uh, Tell us some of the movies that you were in. Well, I did, uh, I did uh, Amazon Women from the Moon. Amazon. Oh. See? Is, it, is, it, is that what you're talking about? Possibility yes. I could have dated some of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. what, what else did you do? I did uh, Saving Private Ryan. I did... Uh, HBO's. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. yeah, good movie. Very good movie. Yeah. I had, I wouldn't have been in that though. Yeah. yeah. And you did something with Tom Hanks with space, right? I did. I did a, a, an HBO miniseries called From the Earth to the Moon. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, yeah. well, the moon. Yeah. That There's space ship could have been there. passing when I was in the area. Yes. You guys could have pulled over, said hi. Uh, we were mooning at the time. You, oh, man. <laughs> we're going to get to that in a minute because I've heard a lot about that no, with no. you. You have, you, <laughs> no. have a, you have a reputation. No, no, no. But I'm going to set it up by saying you are a man of the cloth. Oh, okay. What, 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 do you, what does that mean? You're in the garment business? I am in the, <laughs> the schmata business. Schmata exactly. business. Um, actually, I was uh, in college and looking for a college job, and I was spending some time over on Catalina Island. Uh -huh. And I befriended a guy named Reverend Bob. Reverend I didn't know who he was. Bob. We just, we, my brother and I were able to get a, a cheap room from him. So we rented Wait, from Wait, Reverend it. Bob had cheap rooms? Cheap rooms. <laughs> Reverend Bob. <laughs> hey, what right. are you going to do? Go ahead. So... <laughs> Reverend Bob was a minister with the Universal Life Church, and one day he said, uh, you want to make 75 bucks? And this is back in the early 70s, so I said, you got it. What do I have to do? And he says, marry a couple. Whoa. Uh, and That's I, like, a, like, like the three of you together? No. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> no, two other. Uh, oh. He would preside. Uh, I uh, oh, yeah, preside. Exactly. I see. Yeah. He would preside over. So I did it, and it was actually in an airplane over the Hollywood sign. We, I actually reached back and, and read a few vows, and they, uh, they got married in the air. Was this a legal wedding? This is a legal wedding, <laughs> believe it you, or not. Are you, so you're, you're still ordained? Uh, yeah, of sorts. You know, I'm kind of maybe defrocked by now. I don't know. <laughs> I've painful. done a few things I'm not proud of. Really? You know, so. well, I, don't, I don't want to defrock you. No. <laughs> this no. is Hollywood. You can get that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We'll be cutting that out of the show. <laughs> but, but now, as a man of the cloth, you, you, you sort of have maybe fallen off the path because, I don't know, I'm, like I say, I watch the show, and uh, what is it, every episode you're naked? It's, it's bringing a lot of laughter to see a pasty white butt, uh, middle age, you know. Well, I give you a lot of credit. Do you? Uh, you, have, you have no shame. Well, I mean, you know what it's like. It's, yeah. It is. It's, it's a little issue. But, but, and it's difficult. I mean, you've done nude scenes. You're a big star. Well, you, you know, with me, uh, nude is, is uh, fur to fur. You know, it's, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do yeah. anything else besides that. But you were, you were like slithering in ointment, and they were shaving you and sleepwalking in your, your underwear. And, and this is nice from a well, man from the cloth. That's <laughs> Sounds like you should be wearing a cloth. Yes, yeah. a loin. A loin cloth, yes. yeah. When we first started the show, I was supposed to, my character was supposed to be very hairy, and I, I wasn't, not like yours truly. Well, thank you. And there's nothing wrong with being very hairy. No. I, I, I just want to make that clear. Some of my best friends are hairy. Very hairy. Yeah. So uh, 
we had to glue hair on me, and it, we glued yak hair uh, on Oh, yak hair. You know the yeah. thing? Yeah, oh, the, the old hair. yak hair yeah. trick, yeah. And that was like three yeah. hours, three hours of gluing yeah. yak hair on yeah. me. And then when they went to razor it off, it stuck, the glue stuck. And yeah. so they had to call in some hair back doubles. Oh. Some guys, you know, I'm sure a lot of your friends showed up, and uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the guys who looked, looked like a, a row of... Uh, Carpets, you know, there was a uh, low shag and pile and burger. Low shag, and, I know him, yeah. 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 He's a rapper. Yeah. Hi, low shag. Look, yeah. Low shag. Give me four. There you go. All right. Oh. Well, this is nice. I'm going to find out more about you. And I also know that you are a big baseball fan. Love baseball. And uh, when we come back, I have a little challenge for you to see if how smart you are oh, with no, baseball. Don't, don't, so, don't. more with Mr. Cranston right. when we return on Out's Hit Talk Show. Yeah.